Hey everybody, today we're at the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas, where not only a war was fought, but where the classic Kiwi's Big Adventure was filmed, where he went to see if his bike was in the basement. Of course, there is no basement here. But we're also here, this family is here, to check out San Antonio, Texas, to see if this is somewhere where we'd want to move to. And then after this, we're going to go check out Houston. So stay with us as we check out a few areas in San Antonio, and then we're off to Houston. All right, check it out. See ya. So let's get a lay of the land here for San Antonio. Obviously, you've got the city here, airport's right about there. And what we did was we kind of spanned out in different directions to figure out the suburb situation. And so the first day, we went out to New Braunfels, and then we actually even went up to San Marcos here, and you can see how close that is to Austin. That's about the halfway point, essentially. And then the next day, we went this direction, and we went out to Bernie, and then there's a Fair Oaks Ranch right here. Uh, and then we hit some of the closer neighborhoods to the city. This is one of the higher end areas, Alamo Heights, and uh, Shivano Park, Hollywood Park's right here. And so it's kind of like this outer rim, and maybe even here is sort of the higher end places. We never went south, but we really enjoyed San Antonio, and we'll get into some of those highlights here in a moment. But basically, what we boiled it down to was nice area in Bernie. Heard that this Bolverde is really nice, which is in between Bernie and New Braunfels. I tell you what, this was the highlight here, was New Braunfels. So like I said, we started off in New Braunfels and we really enjoyed this area. We checked out a few homes, a lot of brand new homes that are being built there as well. They actually told us to check out Green, which is in New Braunfels area. And this area is absolutely gorgeous little tiny western town look and feel to it. The Big Green Hall is where a lot of country singers sort of make their names. It's sort of a rite of passage. We checked out this little outdoor country music hall right next door. We absolutely loved it. I actually had a friend that before we went said, oh, I hear there's a lot of racism there. I don't know about that. And I don't think it's racism that people are warning you about. I think it's anti-Californiaism, if you want to check this out. I can tell the people that are from California, by the way. They're like, oh, shit. <laughs> you want to know how I know you're from California? Your DMV and driving sucks, don't you know? Right. But yeah, even though there is a lot to do there, there's rivers and all sorts of things outdoorsy to do. You've got a lot of nature out here as well. I mean, we just ran into these deer. They weren't afraid of us at all, almost like they, nobody's bothered them in the past. And then Cameron's in the back screaming. At so now maybe they're afraid of people. But yeah, there's a lot to do in this area. And, and, you know, even a lot of stuff is coming out there. But then on our way out, Cameron was telling us about this gas station that he saw on YouTube. All right, Cam, tell us about this place. What is the big deal about Bucky's? I don't know. Which is the biggest gas station. What do you think of this gas station? I feel like I'm in a restaurant or something. This is, this, how is this in a gas station? It was enormous. I was blown away by this place. <laughs> it was like the size of a Target or Walmart, but it's a gas station. And you can see when you see all the lined up, you know, four huge icy machines and huge Coke machine area, huge coffee area. But it's almost like a Western Pike Place market. I didn't actually get them on camera, but they're like, as they're chopping up the, the smoked meat, they actually do this little song and dance as they do it, kind of like the Pike Flakes fish market where they're tossing fish in Seattle. But eat, these, these gas stations are everywhere, and we went to a few of them on our trip. 
but we did get some of the sandwiches and the boys and I and Shauna actually just loved the food was amazing pretty incredible they had a lot of great snacks there as well he's doing the Indiana Jones just to gotta, open it gotta, up you gotta be over here like <laughs> okay right okay right it's taped <laughs> I can't even open it. This cinnamon roll is massive. Jace is massive cinnamon roll. <laughs> Jam, I did not know who was going to be Bing right. pie. Let's see. Oh, it looks soft too. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Part of this trip is to figure out the cost versus California. And here we are at Bucky's getting gas, which is almost double in California right now. And so, yeah, gas prices way cheaper. Housing is about a third of the cost that it is in California, at least where we're at. The We were talking to a real estate agent that said the new homes that are built are very energy efficient. And while these homes are like ranging around the 3,000 square foot range, they're still, for all utilities, only paying 200 bucks a month. And our electric bill is like 400 bucks a month alone, let alone our gas bill and our water bill is like 200 bucks a month and you know then you've got trash maybe he wasn't including that but the utilities just 200 bucks so that's a savings in itself back to san antonio the city what a cool area is this river walk is we just fell in love with it we walked around checked out a whole bunch of restaurants of course i i love tiki and they had a great little tiki bar there. We actually sent the kids off to Ripley's, believe it or not, and they got to tour that museum while we went and had tiki drinks because it's 21 and older only, <laughs> right on the river. So we had drinks inside and then, of course, outside right there on the river walk, which was awesome. Pearl District is really nice. We didn't really explore it too much. We had some lunch there, but it's kind of one of those outdoor areas. I think they have big events there and you can live there it's one of those areas where you can live there and shop and stuff like that didn't explore it a lot you know the downtown small and quaint alamo was a little disappointing it was this huge line we stood in line it's free but we stood in this long line for a movie that was three minutes long of a wall and so you're literally you're ushered into this tiny room and then you watch a three minute movie where this wall changes in front of you so it's like it shows you how they scanned the wall and they can tell what it was painted like when it was first made. Like one of the shots is just the sunlight crossing it from one window to the next. And it was like, this is it. <laughs> we stood in line this long for this. No offense, San Antonio, but maybe you want to work on that. I think everybody was leaving there going, we stood in line for that. But, you know, cool to be there. Cool to... It, it, what's funny is all these years... I didn't realize, you know, growing up as a kid watching Pee Wee's Big Adventure and the Alamo scene, you know, he goes to all these different dioramas and then at the end he's like, can we see the basement? And she says, there's no basement here. And they laugh him out of the Alamo. Well, the Alamo, when you walk in, is like one room and there's a few little pieces you can see, but it's mostly just flags of all the different countries of people that were represented there that fought in that war as well as states and there's like a model of what the alamo used to look like and then that's kind of it and then you stand in that massive line into that one room of the wall movie and there's no dioramas like you see in that in fact i looked it up and it looks like they shot all of that here in some sort of museum but yeah not much to the alamo but the area is just beautiful we love san antonio we also made it a point for cameron that he wanted to get a glass at every single rainforest cafe in the country. We've got one in California, and so we made it a point to go to the three that we were going to pass by in San Antonio on the Riverwalk. That was really cool. And then we went to one in Houston and then the one in Galveston. We'll talk about those in the next episode. So stay tuned for the next episode where we talk about Houston and our experience there. Last episode, we're going to go through the economics of everything and then the final decision that we decide to make. All right, see you then.